The bat house at the end of the street where Oloni's pub is now on the prom side, out on the seafront there, the piece of ground that was there that Oloni built a new building on, that, that was known always as Reedy's bat house. And that man, uh, he went down and physically brought up the buckets of water from the sea. Sometimes he'd wait till the tide was in and over the, the rails he'd fill a bucket and carry it over and fill big containers he had and on the roof of it was a one story building and up on the roof he had tanks that he'd fill with water and inside he had uh, big boilers what we'd refer to they were field boilers like they used in the army big wide boiler and take maybe 10 or 12 buckets of water to fill them and you put a, a fire underneath it uh, and uh, when that was warm then he would he would uh, immerse mix it and have a bath now, if you wanted to have a shower, he had a small chimney and he'd go with a ladder, he'd go up onto the roof and this four inch pipe would squirt water down on top of you <laughs> inside. And, uh, the, that was the shower you got. There was no such thing as a shower uh, manually. So he'd pour it down? He'd pour it, let the bucket of water slowly come so down. So there wasn't much privacy? No privacy. This was a big joke about it. <laughs> Glad you said it. <laughs> because it was a joke. He used to say, move west, turn right. <laughs> he was so able to get the best shot of the shower. They were the Lahinch seaweed baths. They were the Lahinch uh, seawater baths, yeah. And he would have the, he would go down there and cut the black seaweed that I often said about in the early part of my story there about my mother having done that at home. They, they would do that down there. and uh, In Bartow. Yeah, uh, but the golfers would go to him, men and women went in for the bats there. And uh, he had it for quite a long time. In my early days, I remember people going in there. Back in, in, I suppose again, until the beginning of 